So this systematic review is about a comparison of the findings of the International Forestry Resources and Institutions Research Program and the findings in other uh, scholarship that has been done on community forests or forest commons. So the IFRI program has now been in existence for about 20 years and in our last biennial meeting we felt it was time to take stock of what we have done and what we have found. And it just happened that Alan Russell was also present at that meeting and he suggested one way to do that would be through a systematic review which is an initiative that C4 it seems had just launched. So it seemed like a nice combination of interests and opportunities. The first of the objectives is to understand if there are differences between the findings from the IFRI research program regarding what leads to sustainable management of forest commons and sustainability of forest outcomes through community management of resources. And to compare the findings of the IFRI program with those in the larger literature on forest commons. But at the same time, we also want to understand if there are specific interventions that can improve outcomes and to the extent that we can do so, uh, whether it is easier to identify such factors using qualitative versus quantitative analysis. So a second objective of this systematic review is also to compare the findings regarding successful community forest management through qualitative versus quantitative work on forest commons. The work that we are doing is very likely to be of interest to policymakers, both in developing countries, but also to groups of decision makers in developed countries. Uh, and I say that because community forestry is of interest both in developing and in the developed world because of its potential contributions to carbon sequestration at the same time as it provides livelihood benefits to hundreds of millions of people around the world. So I would guess that the findings we come up with regarding what makes for more effective management of community forests, forest resources, more effective sequestration of carbon and higher levels of benefits to people from forest commons would be of substantial interest to policymakers in developing and in the developed world.